Trinity Exposed number 12. All Christians have access to the Father through Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 through 18. Let's read that. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Talking about Jews and Gentiles here. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, the Gentiles in other words, and to them that were nigh, the Jews. Verse 18, For through him we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. I wonder why that would be. Um, by him, or through, excuse me, through him, Jesus Christ, we both have access by one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, unto the Father, God the Father, the soul. Again, Jesus, the body, Holy Ghost, the Spirit, God the Father, the soul. It's so simple. We don't have access to God the Father somehow because we get up there and, and Jesus has to say, oh yeah, hey, uh, come on, I'll introduce, me to, introduce you to my Father over here or something like this. I, where's he at right now? I don't know where he is. In him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yes, they can separate. I'm not saying that there is no such thing as a body, soul, spirit. It's all just this one thing there and whatever, and they pretend that they're, you know, whatever. I'm not saying that. They're three separate parts of one being, of one body. Just like man is created in God's image. We have a body, a soul, a spirit. It's just plain. But if you believe in the Trinity, you're still probably rejecting things because you're lost. Just as simple as that.